How are you all doing in all yeah. this? I mean, well, what do you want? Real answers? Yeah. <laughs> well, no, I will say this. We just had our actual couples therapy with our professional. Love who, our therapist. And um, we've been Skyping with him, honey, since before COVID. He's in New York and we can't get enough. And oh, you okay. know what? We talked and we were in the session and we were like, you know what? I still like you. 10 years in, four months into a pandemic. Yeah. I still like you. Isn't I've told that you guys so this before. Nice. I know. I've told them before. They are to me couple goals truly Ugh. like they isn't just, that so nice they're crazy I think, about each you other. know i'm actually glad you said that because i think it's something that people are afraid to say right now which is look i'm not saying i'm loving this pandemic and mm -hmm. that it's going beautifully and whatever but there are these little silver linings and one of them is when you have chosen a partner who is not only i don't know look maybe andy goes to the grocery store maybe you go to the grocery store i don't know how any of that shakes out and how I mean, that's one part of the rela of a relationship is the logistics. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Who does what, and are we a good team? And people always talk about choosing a good partner, who's a good teammate, et cetera, et cetera. But the idea that the person, if that person still comes home and you still get excited just a little bit like a dog at the door, where yeah. you think, oh, that, oh, that's fun. My friend is here and I'm going to get to hang out with my friend. Yes. And if you're even having four of those moments a week, I would say, well, even two, even two. Honey, one, one, I'm just one. one. <laughs> one in the pandemic. I will say this. I hung out with a friend masked up eight feet apart on our lawn yesterday yeah. for two yeah. hours. Naomi, it was, it was maybe the first time we've really been apart. The farthest apart we've been in four months. I was in the house. He was on the grass. I said, honey, live your life. It was, I was like, it was, don't come back if you don't feel like it. It was a joy to come back and see her. <laughs> you have to take those little breaks, of course, whether you go nice. for a walk or whatever it is you need to do to set, get a little space between you. Yes. But what a wonderful thing to, because that's totally in your body. That's not even, yes. I'm thinking about, I've made, I'm looking at my list and I've made the right choice and this is the right person for all these reasons. It's just in your bones and in your cells. When you see someone you, and you are delighted to see them. Yes. And that is such a good feeling. I call that marrow love. If it's in your that's marrow, great. that's marrow love. I love that. <laughs> that is And then, good I mean, look, have a frying pan ready. You know, yeah, because, yes. yeah, in case yes. you guys smash him over the head with it oh, two oh, minutes later when, when he doesn't close the freezer all the way and then like the freezer starts getting comic? snowy. Yes, yes, get a cast iron skillet and then. <laughs> oh, bam. I got it. Just for that. <laughs> Has that just ever that. happened to you where the, they don't close the freezer enough and then the snow starts forming in the freezer <laughs> because the door is partially open? Has that happened? I mean, probably I've done it, right? I can't. Well, yes, probably. <laughs> yes. If anything, in, in this metaphor, I'm the one in the robe with my hair wrapped up with a rolling pin. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Going after Naomi. Oh, he Not came. Y'all, before earlier, the thing he did this morning. So as you, we have two cats and a dog. Honey, we bought a zoo. And so in, so basically one of the cats, he likes to chew like plastic stuff. He'll kind of get it, you know, envelopes <sighs> and cats. tape. And so I usually have my purses by the door. And, you know, like, Rana, you understand. You know, your purse might be big and filled with shit, half of which you don't even use, you know? Yeah. And so apparently sure. last Not night mine. the cat got in my purse <gasps> and Ugh. chewed on something and then like threw up. And so- no. Okay. Andy saw it before I saw it and I was on the phone and then like I get off the phone and I turn and Andrew's looking at me dead serious. Okay. And he just goes, hun, you got to do something about these purses. Okay. <laughs> because you leave them out and then the animals get it. It was like, he was so serious. And I was like, girl, girl, <laughs> I will put them away. I am usually very forgiving <laughs> until it comes to the gastrointestinal health of our cats. But and wasn't then, it kind of a thrill that Andy got upset for a second? Well, it was like kind of intense, you know, because he's a very laid back goof. And so when he gets serious, I'm like, oh, my God, who dying? Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? Like my first assumption is like, the, what bad yeah, the news The answer is the cat, if you're but, not careful. <laughs> but Rhonda wants to know, was it erotic? I think that's what you're getting at. Yeah, that <laughs> is what I was asking. <laughs> it's got to help. It has to help a little bit. Well, sure. when you think, oops, I'm in trouble. 